This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlamelineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a trendy logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it logo animation. And I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30, duration 10 seconds long, then click on OK. Okay, let's import our logo. You can also use text as well. Now select this logo and place it into this timeline. Now make it smaller a little bit now right click on this layer then now right click on this layer then uh, choose pre compose then select move all attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for fill now select this effect and apply onto this layer now color set it white again select this layer then right click then choose pre compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo white then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for vegas now select this effect and apply onto this layer then uh, blend mode set it transparent then segment set it 3 then uh, width set it 3.5 hardness set it 1 end opacity set 1 then uh, go to beginning of this animation then uh, set a keyframe on length and a rotation and length amount set it 0 then go to around 2 second 9 frames or 10 frames then length amount set it 1 and rotation set it you know, 75 looks good to me and then color set it maybe grayish now select this layer then press ctrl plus d now select this layer then change the color to maybe bluish and then uh, width set it 1.7 And of visibility of this layer now right click then choose pre compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to shadow then click on ok design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverto Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverto Elements and start creating today. Now go to effect and preset window and search for CC radial fault blur now select this effect and apply onto this layer then amount set it 98 then zoom set its brightest then go to around uh, 20 frames then set a keyframe on center then change the position around here then uh, go to around 2 second 10 frames then change the position to something like this now select the shadow layer then press u now select these two keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease now hold down shift then press t to open opacity then go to around 20 frames 
or maybe uh, uh, one seconds then set keyframe on opacity opacity set it zero then go to around one second 20 frames or 26 seconds then opacity value set it uh, 12 then uh, go to around uh, two second 15 frames then set another keyframe then go to around five seconds forward and um, opacity set it zero perfect now select this layer then press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer now press u on your keyboard then go to beginning of this animation and select all keyframes and then press delete then go to uh, effect and preset effect control panel then amount set it 89 and uh, zoom set it uh, brightest and opacity set it 100% now uh, go to beginning of this animation then uh, set a keyframe on center then change the position around here now go to around two second 10 frames then change the position to something like uh, something like this perfect now go to around uh, two second 10 frames then press t on your keyboard then set a keyframe opacity then go to around uh, 25 frames then opacity value set it zero oh sorry no set it uh, maybe 35 perfect okay now create a new background so right click new then click on solid color set it white then click on ok and put it below all the layers now select all layers then make it 3d by clicking here now open this layer property then go to a material option then diffuse set it zero do same with this layer diffuse set it zero okay now turn on visibility of this layer okay now create a new light so right click new then click on light and light type set it parallel intensity set it 200 then uh, click on cat shadow on then click on okay okay let's change the position a little bit Just adjust the position. looks good to me okay now go to project window and select our uh, select our logo comp then place it into this timeline then make it 3d as well and then go to around go to around 2 second 10 frames or 2 second 15 frames then set a keyframe on opacity then opacity amount set it zero then set a keyframe then go forward 10 frames 
then opacity amount set it 100 perfect again create a new um, now create a new text layer so right click new then click on text now type your text here I type in Nike let's change the color so change the fonts make it bigger a little bit then make it center now make it 3d as well now select our logo layer then press u then select these two keyframe then press ctrl plus c then uh, select this text layer then press ctrl plus v perfect now select this logo layer then open properties then accept lies set it uh, off Okay, now create a new camera so right click new then click on camera then click on ok then go to beginning of this animation then press p on your keyboard then set a keyframe on position now decrease the z amount a little bit now go to around now go to around two seconds then increase the uh, z amount something like this then again go to around uh, three seconds 15 frames then decrease the z amount a little bit now select all keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this Okay, let's try and preview this. And is the timing a little bit? Our animation is complete. Press zero to ramp with this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day and i will see you in the next video till then peace out